Hello? Hello. Okay. Hello. As soon as I started, it was like a voice mod came up and was like, Hey, you need a, you need a reset, an update reset, okay? I was like, oh god, okay. Anyway, hello, Melly. Let's see, will they be able to make it all the way through the countdown? Make your bets, folks. I did. I made it mostly because of running out of time on it while unexpected issues like the audio came up. Also, forgetting I hadn't taken my allergy medication yet, so I had to dig through the medicine cabinet for that. This is a short stream. I don't know how short, but I do need to preserve my voice. I feel a little bit of laryngitis coming on if I uh, do a full week this week, honestly. So I, this is either a short stream or tomorrow might not have a stream. We'll see which one. So I'm not gonna spend too long on this part. The big thing is, I haven't come even close to playing through any of these... How do I say? Any of these strange, unique seeds. Like, I've only been... Uh, I've gone through these first four. Anything else is new to me. So I see this one. It usually lacks metals, uh, but it has an abundance of trees. Finding biological solutions to the problem is a must. But this specific world trait leaves it metal rich, so that helps cancel out the lack of metals, hopefully. Mixed ores, irregular oil. Hopefully we'll be able to keep some uh, manufacturing going on this one. But I assume by biological solutions, it's talking about ranching and um, farming, right? Yeah, this one. This one's new to me. So what? which one do you think we should try, Melly? Uh, we could go for this. You know, the... Uh, what is this? Location with a natural abundance of trees, lack of metals, uh, finding biological solutions. That's not really a play style I've gone for before. Oh, and by the way, a couple hours before the stream, Sean Wolfbark, thank you so much for following. I hope you uh, enjoy your stay here, and I'm glad you find me worth the follow. So whenever you join a stream, feel free to bundle up in your comfiest clothes, you know. Or lack thereof because of how hot it is. I understand not wanting to layer anything in the summer heat. Especially if you live in a humid place. I do really like trees. Yeah, Melly. So I'm thinking between these two to expand what I've played before. Well, to expand on what I've played before, rather. So we could try a lava world. Metal pour. A location rife with molten lava and intense heat. Volcania would be perfect if it wasn't for the volcanoes. Digging carefully and managing the temperatures in our colony will be essential to success. Expand it. Expand it. Let's look. Yes, we're expanding our horizons, Millie. Now this one has large glaciers and magma channels, uh, as well as trapped oil. It will need to be extracted with oil wells and irregular oil. This is interesting. The Badlands, a barren location with an overabundance of mineral resources. It poses no immediate threats, but sparse resource availability will make expansion and technological progress challenging. OMG, temp management is so hard. It is. Like you think, uh, oh, I could just put one of those ice cube fans in a room and it'll be fine. But that's not true. Uh, well, it is true, but you need a lot more than you would expect, right? You need like two or three in a small room to really keep it cool. That's the one I saw played, Ice and Fire. Heck. I'm 
chances of survival slim. A desolate location with a cache of life-sustaining water trapped beneath the surface. This has a chilly core. Hmm. Geodormant and magma channels. The Badlands. Um, I am curious about this one. Okay, we found a seed that's geoactive. This world has more geysers and vents than usual. And a subsurface ocean with a saltwater sea. Okay, I like the sound of this one. I think we're gonna start. Hunger, default, durability, indestructible. Oh yeah, for clothes. Default, default. Jern susceptible, outbreak prone. Let's go. A bit persnickety, draconian. Glum, frankly depressing. I like these descriptions, I'm sorry. Care packages, safety cloud, sure. All right, I'm gonna start this. Let's start it, Melly. By the way, Melly, what's the flavor of the day? Huh? What's the G Fuel flavor? I wanna know. Ah, water. Sorry, I'm drinking a lot of water even without... <laughs> Why is Frank depressed? I don't know. I'm drinking a lot of water even without the uh, redeem. Just because I woke up really dehydrated. And, well, I guess it's summer. Again, you're just dehydrated in Tennessee for existing. Medicine. You know what? Builder, cooker, uh, farmer. Yes. I like you. You have decreased machinery, but you you will make a fine farmer. What else? An operator? A suit wearer? With excavation? Night owl? Bottomless stomach? Ooh. I want to see good suit wearing. Decreased creativity. Okay. I like these. These are a good start. I'm going to sneeze. Oh my gosh. I took those allergy pills late. Ah. Ah. Melly. Ah. Okay. The underground system. Now we're going to name the colony. Melly, what would you name a colony? Hmm? The invisible bunker, dwelling, the luxury utopia, hardly. You did it. I can make some now if you want, though, leader. <laughs> you don't have G fuel today, just water. I'm sorry to disappoint. Well, no, that's okay. You can you can save your G fuel for now. Uh, I don't know why you asked me to help you not sneeze, but good job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, help me not sneeze. Say pineapple for me. Hmm, the quarantine space at shore. No. No. Hmm. There we go. Melly's penal colony. How could you how could you arrest these people, Melly? How could you send them to a prison world? Yeah, I haven't used caffeine as much lately. You know? <laughs> I I could use some coffee. My energy is downhill today. I've awoken at the target location, but colonization efforts have already hit a hitch. I was supposed to land on the planet's surface, but became trapped many miles underground instead. Although the conditions are not ideal, it's imperative that I establish a colony here and begin mounting efforts to escape. I mean, it's truly some- it's totally something I'd do, but heck. Yeah, how could- how could you arrest these people and send them to a prison world? Huh? I can't believe you, Melly. But yeah, speaking earlier of flavor... Boop. My, uh, I will be... 
uh, maybe pausing the stream at some time around like 5.30 or something because I'm having, okay, a strawberry Wendy's Frosty uh, delivered to me. And I'm really excited because I haven't tried the new flavor yet. Oh my gosh, I... The chocolate Frosty is kind of special to me because when I was taking swimming lessons, my grandma would uh, get me a biscuit from like Bojangles, okay? A breakfast biscuit and then get me a Wendy's Frost, a chocolate one. Ooh, where does this go? That goes pretty deep. I wish, can I move one of you? Yeah, move to here. Move there. I want to see what's up. Oh, there's going to be sand. Alright, this might be a wider base than normal. And you've scouted it for me. Thank you so much. Where, why are there weird colors here? I know oxygen is blue. Carbon dioxide is sort of gray. An orangish gray. What are you? Undetermined. Okay. By the way, let's speed this up. We want a farm. And we want water. Our water can be right here. Boop, boop. Yes. Uh, plumbing. There we go. Oh, yes. I would also like a ladder here so that we could flood this area. Okay, send it further down. This should be our bottle in here. Uh, deconstruct. Now, not harvest. Can I uproot? I can't uproot like this. That's okay. Just pick them up. I would love to turn these into a farm. Okay. Medicine, plumbing, and outhouse. Sure. Put an outhouse right here. And the wash basin. Thank you. Boop, boop. As you may know, Melly, from other runs, I usually have a very vertical base. So I'm wondering if I could do a more horizontal base with less, uh, less vertical floors. I mean, after all, you can get them to be pretty fast later on on plastic tiles, though. I don't know. There's no guarantee I go all the way to plastic tiles, especially not in this stream. But we're going to start this. We're going to get some roots down. There we go. Oh, you know what? You'll have to dig out all of that sand. Okay. Power. Missing metal? Well, if that's the case, go over here. Priority five. Uh, priority nine. Goodness. My brain is not working today. I'm so sorry, Melly. My brain is off. The allergies turned my brain off. You know how it is. Pineapple. <laughs> I just read that you said pineapple for me. Thank you. You finally did it. Ooh. 
food time, you say. Mm. We don't have any furniture for eating yet. Something like that, just in case any of them snore. I don't remember if any of them do. Hi, KD. This is a title I haven't seen in a while. Yup, auction not included. It's been a while for me too. I last played it in May. In fact, I haven't played it since VTuber models in general. Or, uh, or becoming an advocate, a uh, affiliate. My brain really is off. I did? Wait, I... I did play it with a model? I'll look back. <laughs> oh wait, you're right. I did. I did a short playthrough. I say short, it went to the mid game and this game... It, it does take a while to get to that mid game. Like I think you did. I most likely did. Because now you're refreshing my memory. Oh yes, and you... Filter's not designated. Well... I would designate filters if you'd let me. Oh well, put it on sweet. I'll have to see what's happening with you later. What are you doing? Oh my god. Already we're on a speed run to drowning. Look at this little air pocket this dummy's in. Could you believe it? The new game from Warner Brothers is out called Multiverse. Yeah, I saw it uh, trending. I'm really excited about it, though it's not really. I've I'm already I've already put enough time into Smash, and even then, not really much time. But still, uh, I'm I only really have the energy for one fighting game in my life at a time. Okay, I I am monogamous for fighting games, so it looks cool i will definitely i've definitely watched some videos of it but i would probably never go beyond just watching it as for fighting games i'm too busy learning lucario marth and simon from smash and a little bit of yoshi you know yoshi's fun his hurt boxes suck like it he a lot of his attacks, like his side tilts can be really nice. His uh, down B, really fun when people are trying to juggle you. Um, and when he tosses the egg up. And also his uh, good range on his grab. But other than that, if you try to do much else, you're probably going to get outranged. So it depends on, it depends on the level of play with Yoshi. Maybe that's just me. Monogamous. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do with this guy? Popped eardrums, holding breath. No wonder you you have popped eardrums. You're in a pocket of carbon dioxide with 7.1 kilograms of air pressure. Um, you know what? Let's get. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Yellow alert. I can't believe you fell down. How did you fall down? You were there. There wasn't even much material here, and this wasn't even a pocket. Gosh, they always find the quickest way to death that they can. I swear. Anyway, that emergency's over. Water. We haven't discovered polluted water yet, so I'm assuming that's why I can't filter... Uh, filter the bottle emptier to get polluted water in here. 
There were two people in there. What the fuck? I know. I... How do you even get there? This was closed off. Did you really fall when people were building the pitcher pump? Oh, y'all are idle. Here, have a battery. It's a little bit important. And then you know, maybe have a couple ladders over here so that you can get at these ore resources. We do need them. You can tell who has the athletic skill. Nicola. Alright, I think it's time for naming. So, Gosman, your name is now Melly. I have decreed it. Melly. And Otto, your name is now Katie. There you go. Next person who joins also gets uh, gets to take the place of Nicola. And we'll see how long y'all last. I don't think there will be a death in this stream. It's a shorter stream. But you never know. Until we do it. By the way, wasn't this uh, the condition of this seed? The special condition like an ocean? Ooh, a cool steam vent. We want that eventually. Uh, soon. Bunch of coal over here. I'm so excited to see Melly eight, number 897. Yes. Oh, you mean this one? This Melly 897? Also, why am I in my own penal colony? Well, I'm sorry to say, um, <laughs> you enacted all, you enacted the law and built the colony, uh, the penal colony, and then you punched someone over the last G Fuel flavor. Okay, you punched someone over the last Lady Dimitrask G Fuel flavor. I can't believe you, Melly. How could you? You stooped so low for a mill. It's true, I'm a menace. You commit crimes for mommy. I know. There we go. Get more. I mean, we do need the research station. And another wire. So. Microbe musher? Sure. I want to keep the uh, wires. Okay. The initial wires real bare bones. Because we have seen how quickly these become overloaded and outdated in a run. So I don't want to have to replace much. I, In fact, I kind of want to rush uh, getting more advanced wires in the base in general from the start. Or do you like cook? Uh, I do anything for a MILF. You can quote me. Okay. I'll keep that in mind, Melly. Uh, next time, next time we see an, uh, uh, yes. I will weaponize that. Uh, Ports, do you like cooking? I do like cooking. I, ha I don't really follow really advanced recipes. I just, I, I do enjoy just the simplicity of a nice and simple recipe. Enjoying the smells and sights and preparing it. But do you like shopping? I'm more of a very frugal window browser. Let's say. It's very hard to separate me from my money. <clears throat> I picked that up for my grandma. She was a Great Depression uh, survivor. Well, I shouldn't say survivor. Lots of people survived it, but not well, but she, yeah, she taught me to be frugal. Like a kobold would. <laughs> Can I interest you in HelloFresh? Yeah, you did talk about HelloFresh. 
Um, I still want to look into maybe having a link for it. First 16 boxes are free. How often do those boxes come? Is that a daily thing? By the way, research. Farming? Okay. I can't set up that much of a queue, so... Go through meal preparation, and then we'll get into... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Basic plumbing, you know. And... Where is power? Power. Then we can go to advanced power... No, we can't. Wait. That needs advanced research. Ah, uh, we'll play it by ear. Let me know if you want to code. Okay, Katie. I'll actually look at that. I'm sorry, I said to sound like a salesman. That's okay. That does sound like a nice code to get 16 boxes for free. Hecky. Deconstruct. Okay. No, copy. There we go. Yes, I eventually want to raise them up on one level. I don't know why. Maybe just for the sake of cleanliness of the uh, colony. But do I... Wait, do I need to? Do I really? Maybe I don't. Do you want any extra art? Hmm. I'll think about that, Katie. But also, thanks for the offer. <laughs> I really do appreciate that offer. I will think about it, because if I said yes, I wouldn't know what art I would want right now. So I'll, I'll think about what art I might want and come back to you. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Yeah. Still don't know polluted water. I really want to filter this soon. After all, this is half full. Oh wait, no, that's polluted dirt. Wait a second. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Before this sneaks up on me. Where is it? Do I have composting yet? Oxygen. Diffuser. How is oxygen? O breathability is fine. We're okay. Um. Art of me punching someone for MILF G fuel. Cap. <laughs> True. Melly would punch someone for MILF G fuel and end up being Melly 897 in her penal colony. Microbe mush. Okay. Seems like we have everything we need for now. Shine nymph egg. Oh, the shine nymphs are right over the <laughs> right over the bed. <laughs> That's not good for my colonists. It's fine. You're okay with a little bit of light, right? I mean I sleep in like with a pretty bright room, so I don't really mind it. And the TV on. Maybe it's my ADHD. I get freaked out if things are too dark and silent. Alright, make me those mush bars. Filter not designated. Sweet, sweet. Get the sweeper. Boop. 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 Okay, and all this should be neatly sorted away into three storage bins, I do believe.
Okay. Doesn't seem like we'll know what to do with polluted dirt for now. We need to research uh, composting, I guess. Oh my god, Katie! You tripped in you tripped in the hamster wheel. How are y'all doing, by the way? Hmm? I'm doing alright. You could probably hear it. My voice probably sounds a little deeper from uh like early stages of laryngitis. I'm probably gonna despite having a shorter stream, I'm probably gonna end up having a day off. Um, of streaming. And also, uh, allergies don't help. The air is full of pollen. But despite that, maybe, hmm, maybe if I'm not streaming, I... Mm -hmm. Since this is a shorter stream, maybe I'll see if I could spend some time in the shop. Ooh. Colony summary. What do we have? Bed and bath? Good. That's always a good first start. I like all of you. You all have great athletics and suit wearing. You have good agriculture. It doesn't hurt to have two farmers. Quick learner, handy, caregiver. Y'all are perfect duplicates, but I am not taking more duplicates than I can handle yet. Am I? Hmm. That's a good amount of coal. Let's take this one. Decreased excavation and strength. That's okay. Uh, I want suit wearing. I want athletics. Uh, athletics is a strong one to have because for every point in this, they get 10% bonus run speed. So even if you're go uh, good at farming by default, I could get this person, I could get Mary here leveled in farming as well, and she would run really fast for it. So Mary, congratulations. Eventually, you are going to be our far one of our farmers. And I think this is a good spot to uh, begin our first farm. Here as well. Actually, why stop there? It's not... We don't have the research we would need to uh, have specific farming rooms yet. Or hydroponics rooms. So just get our food, our calories stable. Well, we're making a bunch of mu uh, mush bars. Oh yes, and now I would appreciate if you went up one level. So we can capture this mealwood and put it in a in a planter box. Also gets us a lot of fine metal. They weren't kidding about metal rich on this seed. Boring gas vent. Hmm. There is a creature, which I believe there's one down here. Yes, you prefer to live in chlorine, don't you? You are living in chlorine right now. Oh, their backside are cov uh, backsides are covered in thick, wooly fibers that only grow in hydrogen climate. So their wool is not growing in the chlorine. We would need to move it over to, say, this spot with the hydrogen pocket. They're all woken up by the shine bugs. I know, I'm sorry. The shine bugs are annoying now, but when you have individual rooms where they can't enter, uh, you'll actually like them. They'll increase the deco uh, decor, and for some plants, they will provide artificial sunlight. 
plants, which I do believe we have the seeds for right now. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, and the market closed. Let's see how I did. Nice. Heck yeah. That was actually a pretty solid performance today. Okay, sorry about that. don't have much commentary today. Uh, there was an issue, like a little tech issue that my grandma had. <laughs> I actually had to rescue my grandma this morning. That's how I woke up. Uh, she called me and she was like, help, I don't know what happened to my phone, but there was this weird breathing that started. <gasps> on my phone and I could even hear it and I was like wait that that's headspace's breathing exercises so I I told her to to like close all tabs just so that she didn't have to find the uh headspace one so I didn't have to explain that to her it was cute you don't have to talk I just enjoy your company Aww. that's adorable <laughs> yeah that's how I woke up today. That's probably a part of a reason why I'm sleepy. It was uh, early. Earlier than I'm usually awake. That's okay, though. The family calls me for uh, stuff like that. Ah, though I used to be more tech savvy. That sort of wore off at over time. After I left high school. Or graduated, rather. Let's see. Uh, boy? You want the boy? Boy! <laughs> boy! Boy! Okay. <laughs> and I took the hydrate, though. I'll probably take more hydrate, just without the... Without the redeem. Um... Ah, it tastes so good! Melly, why does the water taste so good? Isn't that a sign of dehydration when, like, the water tastes really good? I have 2k, 20k points now. Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? No, do it. At some point soon... <sighs> um... At some point soon, I want to actually start the hard mode run of uh, Star Wars Republic Commando. What do you think? Hmm? I played that on medium before. Uh, so actually, it was called normal, I think. And oh my gosh, it was so hard because the AI of your teammates is just broken on PC version. So, as I do want to try hard mode and see how far I get. Of course, that would be frustrating. So for the sake of reducing tilt, it would probably be a multi-stream thing if I started it. At the same time, I don't know when to start that because I also have the Doom series that I could stream. There's also Elder Scrolls Oblivion that I could try for the first time because I've never played Oblivion. Could you believe it? Never played Oblivion. I could also... There's so many things. Ah, when does it... When does it end? There's an endless list of things to play, and I just don't know what to play. I haven't played Genshin Impact since it left beta. Maybe... Maybe I try that, huh? Oblivion is pretty hype right now. <gasps> Ooh. So you want me to uh, play Oblivion? Try Oblivion for the first time? 
I'd be down for that. Hi, how are you? Mary Gold, hello! How are you? I'm doing well. Um, how are you doing today, Mary Gold? Well, I say I'm doing well. This will be a shorter stream, Mary Gold, because I have allergies. I took my allergy medica uh, medication late, and it, it, we have really high pollen. Uh, but also, uh, I, from talking so much this week, I am developing like early laryngitis here. So I need to, uh, I do need to have a short stream here and maybe a day off tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, to, uh, preserve my voice. That'd be good. Yeah, you could also try a poll on Twitty. Heck yeah. You know what? I should do a poll. Like, I could do a poll to say, to ask, like, would you like to see me play Star Wars? Doom? Uh, ba 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 ba. What was it? Oblivion? Or Genshin Impact? But at the same time, I could also add Planet Side to that. You know? I could add Planet Side 2. I could, uh, because I did have performance issues trying that the first time. If I turned down more settings, I, I don't know. There, there's got to be a way to get it acceptable. <gasps> DJ Stuki, Hello! How are you doing? What are you up to? Enjoying? All right. Yeah. Hi, Portal. Hi, Melly. Hello, DJ Stuki. What are you up to? How are you doing? How's the la uh, how's the past 24 hours treated you, huh? Well, I hope. We're just enjoying a shorter stream of oxygen not included before other uh, going into other games as well. Just sort of indecisive on what to play because uh, I've been doing a lot of series. You know, I've done a RimWorld series. An Oxygen Not Included series. A uh, Stellaris run. Let's see. What else have I done? A big Tropico series. So. I don't know what to do between those. Like what's the next series, huh? Doom games playthrough? Game Pass gives me all the Doom games. I could do it. I've never played them before, actually. I've never played a Doom game. Surviving the Aftermath? Heck, I did survive the Aftermath. Wait, the Aftermath of what? Hmm. Whatever the Aftermath was, I did survive. I'm doing a second run. Uh, oh, right. Basic plumbing, please. Then you can get into basic ventilation. Why aren't you digging this? Surely someone's eventually got to dig this. Here. Make it a slightly higher priority. Okay. Make this a higher priority then. Oh no, it's already started. I've already started playing with priorities. Now, before you know it, everything will be priority 9 so that nothing is priority 9. It's a game made by the creators of Surviving Mars. Ooh. I actually looked at Sur uh, Surviving Mars. It does look interesting. I might play it someday. Oh, you know what? There's also Frostpunk. Heck yeah. You know what? Frostpunk sounds like a good, uh, next stream. Uh, I loved Frostpunk. I've never played it before, but I have it installed, so I guess I found maybe my next game. But there's also Oblivion. Hmm. Frost... Frostpunk Oblivion. Frostpunk Oblivion. Ooh, check games. I got you that art you wanted. Aw, snap, Katie. Uh, 
Oh, Frostpunk is hard? Ooh. It... I wonder how hard it is compared to Stellaris. Because Stellaris... Maybe Stellaris isn't really hard depth-wise. It's just hard how big its scale is, I guess. It's hard to stay on top of everything at once. I'll try Frostpunk. I don't know which to start first, though. Oblivion or Frostpunk? Maybe I do a one-off on Frostpunk and see how I like it. And then I'll do another one with Oblivion. Who knows? Stellaris, I wasn't able to play more than one hour. Hecky. You're better than me. Stellaris is... Uh, honestly, Stellaris is more than a grand strategy game it it honestly builds on everything and plays like you're you're building a world for a D, &D campaign it's long-winded right long campaign you're building everything from the ground up and you just decide how the world is going to be and i i do enjoy that Isn't there usually music? <laughs> hey y'all, did you did you remember the music? I I forgot there was music. I was like, why is this like quiet and idle? Ports, check the server real quick. It's so funny. Oh yeah? There's something going on in the server. Oh my god. Milf blocker. Oh my god. Holy shit. KD. You actually have Melly about to punch a MILF blocker for the G fuel to end up on the penal colony. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> good job, KD. And good job, Melly, in ending up in your own penal colony here. Now there's no escape. Alright, research ventilation. Actually, could you research, um... Portable gases as well, so we get oxygen masks. Thank you. It's basically like Frostpunk. Surviving the Aftermath and all the other building games. In for spray, surviving Mars, etc. I don't regret my crimes. I'd do it again. You would punch a MILF blocker again, Melly? For the G Fuel? The things you'll do for a G Fuel. What would you do for a Klondike bar then, huh? Would you blow up a planet? Hmm? Would you join the Empire and blow up planets with a Death Star for a Klondike bar, Melly? If you'll punch a MILF blocker for G Fuel. Who knows what a Klondike holds over you? Boop. I would like those dug up. And you can uproot these to send them into the planters, which have not been built. Y'all are kind of lacking for having four of you already. You know what? Maybe... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Cots. Poppy. Build one here. Uh, here. And... Hmm. Here. Also here. There we go. Now we can have the tiles built. Like so. Pneumatic doors. 
Yes. And... Oh, did I... Did I clear your, my throat into your... Into your uh, ears? I'm sorry. Sorry if I did. Again, just uh, allergies. Cancel that one. Put it... Here. Then dig these. Thank you. Finally, you're getting built. Now you should plant these mealwood seeds. You want know to plant mealwood seeds on this row? No, wait. Cancel that. Put the blossom seeds on this row. There we go. We have four blossom seeds for now, so that's all we'll rely on until we grow more and our uh, farmers bring us more seed. There we go. That's our first farm. It needs irrigation. That's okay. Someone will bring water. You haven't discovered polluted water yet? What the heck? And by the way, mop up this liquid spill. You're getting polluted oxygen everywhere. You'll cause slime lung. Heck. Probably not a Klondike bar, but definitely... Uh, definitely for a Klondike cone. I've never had a Klondike cone. What is that? Huh? What is that? Would I know it? There's still some to mop up. Yep, as I thought, this is full. Can someone empty it? Does this count as a room? A latrine. Where is composting? It has to be up here, right? It is. So basic farming got us composting, and I just didn't use it yet. I'm sorry. You know what? Uproot this. Sand, chlorine, goodness. This sort of limits our growth on this side. I don't I don't want to expand into chlorine. This has a swamp though. And up? Hmm, not much here either. It's really making me want to do a vertical base, but I don't want to. Ah. There we go. So, would I be able to... Where's Latrine? Latrine! Workstation, no industrial machinery. Well, this isn't industrial. Where is it? Compost. Put it there. Thank you very much. Okay, so Melly, you're a digger. So, we're going to get you hard digging. It's like a Klondike bar, but a, a cone instead. A novel idea, really. I like the waffle cone crunchy. Ooh. I... Mmm. Now I want something with a waffle cone. Damn it. How dare you give me my next craving. I haven't had a waff anything with a waffle cone in so long. Now I have a craving like for that like I did with uh, McNugget. Digging my way to MILF City so you can fight them all. What, are you going to punch every MILF? For G Fuel? Melly, you can't just you can't just do that. Hecky.
Wait, did I just give both of you hard digging? Oh my god, wait. Oh my gosh. Can I unlearn this? Ah! Damn it. Oh well. It might end up being for the best. I mean, it's not terrible since you're already a suit wearer. You will be out and about digging outside the base more than others. No, only those who would stand in the way of the MILF. <laughs> oh god. What have I started? Uh, Nicola. You had athletics, right? Yes, you do have athletics. I wanted you to do farming. And then KD, you are a farmer as well. Oh yes, also Marigold. You did join. So you're going to become a colonist. Here we go. Marigold. And where is Nicola? DJ Stuki. There you are. All right, the gang's all here. Ooh, pufflet eggs. B -b -b husbandry, strength, creativity. Let's get pufflet eggs. Hopefully they'll hatch. Incubating? Okay. They'll hatch. You need more research already? How effective are you? Oh, a hydrate? Thank you so much, Marigold. Ah. I always appreciate a hydrate reminder in the heat of summer. Thank you. You know what I haven't done in a while is squeeze a lemon into my water. That's usually what I would do during the su uh, what I do in the summer, but I haven't had limes yet. Not this summer. Kind of, kind of a shame, really. Hecky. Are you finally getting into this? All right. Yeah, turn this into tile because that gets us a bunch of algae anyway. You're welcome. Aw. What a happy little emo. <laughs> Insufficient resources dirt. Oh, I see. By the way, how's breathability? Ooh. Bad. Breathability is bad. Now I remember why I do vertical. It's because then we can let the carbon pool. All right. Gets a 10% efficiency boost in direct light. Oh, we need, we do need dirt, don't we? Here, dig dirt. Okay, we have dirt. Dig dirt. Hello? There we go. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Dirt. Lots of dirt. And what about you? Polluted water? I can finally unbottle it? Yes, please. Uh, priority six. Priority six means you shouldn't be idle. Okay, I guess you're socializing. Relaxing? Okay. What's your schedule? Oh, there is a two-hour downtime. My bad. I was hounding on y'all for that. Mmm, tastes like the sunny. 
Wait, does the Sani have a specific, like, watery taste? Does the Sani water have a taste? I just have city water from Chattanooga, and, uh, it has an excellent taste. I don't know why. It tastes so clean. We do have great water. Chattanooga has been featured in, like, magazines for how well we cleaned up our water. Oh, made a mess. Again? Just use the bathroom. Wait, it's out of dirt as well? Why is it using dirt? That's... That's disgusting. The Sony is basically bottled city water. Yep. The Sony and Aquafine taste like the city of LA. Imagine how LA tastes. Fucking disgusting. I... Hmm. I think LA tastes like car exhaust. Was I right? Did I get it right? Alright, you got- y'all gotta mop this whenever you can. There you go. Okay, what's with your name? Stooky. There we go. My bad. It's fixed now. And we're on cycle seven, and that closes up the first week of this colony. Not much happened. Ma mostly getting our roots. Lack of illumination, you say. Well. Once portable gases is done researching, I can work towards uh, light. Makes my... Yeah, or at least close. Makes my tongue hurt so much. Why does one specific message that you sent, Melly, not have the founder badge? What's up with that? Weird. Yeah, or at least close. All right, I, I have a good sense of uh, how L.A. tastes, then. Get into your decor. <laughs> we should always have someone on the generators. And it seems KD is up to the task of just running in a hamster wheel. Do you run in hamster wheels often, KD? Because you're really good at it. I'm a glitch in the system. You're a glitch in the system? Another shine nymph egg. Has one hatched yet? I don't see it. Maybe this one was moved. Anyway, let that incubate. If we get more shine nymph bugs over our crop, then that's just free energy. You can see they like the illumination for the shine bug. Heck yeah. I love the little shine bugs. They're like little sentient gro uh, glowing sacks. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Fimsy Wife. How are you doing? I'm a lick. I'm a lich in the system. Hello, Fim. Yeah, hello. You know what? Even at 3x speed, it's taking everyone a while to get this done. Can I just priority six this? Make it the priority project. All right, it's it's time for y'all to sleep in the middle of these light bugs. Oh, and you can't breathe. Yeah, you have to take a breath over here before you continue sleeping. One of you has just given up trying to have a cot over here in the carbon dioxide. KD has figured it out and just started sleeping where the oxygen is. Impressive. Speaking of which... Probably time for some an algae terrarium. Wow, Mary Gold, you're pretty fast. 
You got us research for decor already. Smart home. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Am I? Hmm. Let's get the research done. Pharmacology. Employment, advanced research. Hmm, uh, something like this, and I think they could use a ladder that's... Yeah, let's just go ahead and make a ladder up this way anyway. Also, dig as much of the algae you can reach as you can. As much of it as you can reach, rather. Bleh. I can't think. I can't speak. Allergies. I have just let it take over my, uh, my sinuses. Too long. Next time, uh, I will definitely take allergy medication much earlier in the day. Ah. So yeah, uh, Kate, uh, Bimsy, wifey, that's the story of the day. Allergies. Allergies and tired. <laughs> or tired from the allergies. So this will end up being a shorter stream to preserve my, uh, preserve my voice. And because I just don't, you may hear it. I don't have a chin. I have a NyQuil hangover making me pretty loopy. I want a NyQuil hangover. How much NyQuil did you have? I want to be drunk on NyQuil. No, actually I don't. That sounds terrible and junky. That is junky beefy. But I can definitely understand the feeling of, like, needing a bunch of NyQuil. Heck. I, do I have the time to feed my mother before you end stream? Probably. I would think so. I was thinking like a two hour stream, two and a half hour stream, and we're one hour, 15 minutes in. Although there will be a quick BRP uh, at some point soon because I'm expecting my Wendy's Cross. We're talking 10 to 15 minutes max. Oh yeah, I'll be here. Looks weird, min max. Are you min maxing, DJ? You better not be min maxing, okay? <laughs> wow, this is why I end up becoming addicted to priorities. No one does anything unless it's prioritized. There we go, something like that. Wait, these are priority five. I don't want, I don't want the the basic functions to start having a higher, the same priority as the more important projects, so that I just end up power creeping my priority all the way up to priority nine until everything's priority nine, which is inevitable in every colony so far. Fly, get out of my face! Ah, ah, what? I'm getting assaulted by a fly. I say that and I know Melly's thought in her head is that's not very fly. That's not very fly of it, is it? Am I right, Melly? That's your thought. BRB, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm honestly tempted to sit down at my standing desk. Usually I stand. But, hold on, hold on, the one fly, I know. 
One moment. Boop. First, first of all, I need to change into something lighter. I am changing from jeans into yogurt. I know you want to know. Totally. And then I'm sitting down. Yeah, if I have to sit down in a stream, you know it's a short one because I usually leverage my thighs of steel, okay? Ah. There we go. <laughs> By the way, remember how I said this game is ASMR? Just the sound design, how everything comes together. This constant barrage of random noises that are soft and cartoonish. It's really soothing. I used to uh, fall asleep all the time with... Oh, excuse me. I used to fall asleep all the time with uh, streams, live streams, of people playing this game. And it never got old. It never did. Next production in 0 0.2 cycle. All right. Uh, still takes a while to come over. Right, the priority sheet. So you attack and you also dig. You are our farmer. Who else is our farmer? Who did I level? Let's take a look. We have two farmers, right? We do have two farmers. DJ and KD. So KD has it. And then DJ. Oop. You are currently our researcher, Mary Gold. And what are you trying to send? Hmm? Oh, you're trying to send an oxy fern seed. More water. We don't need that. Let's take the oxy fern seed. If you please. What does the oxy fern need? Oxy fern are perhaps the have perhaps the highest metabolism in the plant kingdom, absorbing relatively large amounts of carbon dioxide and converting it into oxygen in large quantities disproportionate to their small size. They subsequently thrive in areas with abundant animal life or ambiently high carbon dioxide concentration. Okay. They do also need water. I didn't notice you became entombed in sand. I'm sorry for whoever's caught that was. So on fly, disgustingly grounded. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There we go. Let's try to have a couple oxy ferns over here. Wow. 
wonderful. How much heat is that producing? Negligible. I say negligible, but it can add up over time. Oh gosh, but I'm yawning. Why haven't you built these yet? We have a breathability problem. Because y'all don't build anything. Gosh. Heck, you have to give it the personal touch. And you too. Yeah, I know, it's sleepy time now. Katie still, again, has it figured out. Sleep where you can breathe. Why is KD the smartest sleeper here? Heck. You do a good yawn, so cool and epic. Yeah, I guess so. I'm blown away by his power and swag. Alright, who's caught as who? Someone has to sleep with a shine bug. I'm so sorry. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. It depends on when y'all finally build these tiles. It's up to you. We do have a good amount of puff. Uh, not puffed. What are you? Really, Katie? You had an accident with an, a freshly emptied toilet right here? Not even that. Someone else had an accident and missed the toilet. Oh my gosh. How do you miss like that? Y'all are cloned adults. I know you're cloned, but still. Are you off? Oh, yes. Okay, we will eventually have Smart Home up. This is the earliest I've had Bristle Blossoms um, available to me, so maybe it actually pays to use the ceiling light. I've never. I've always been like, ah, oh, that'll soak up too much power until we have sustainable power, but no. This, this is actually a rather aggressive colony for my past in this game. How are you doing? Awaiting delivery of algae? You know what? This is a life support system. Someone has to do it. It might as well be the digger. If you're not digging, you should be doing life support. There you go. All right, what's that like? That does a decent amount, apparently. Yeah, you can see that. That has a noticeable effect. Okay. But you know what? Since we're slow on the smart home, it will pay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Where are you? Would it be under liquid? Distillation. Oh, that needs advanced research. Here, advanced research. Go.
Thankfully, I'm not worried about water in this run. Uh, one of the special features of this run is oceans. I do believe. Ah. Why does Twitter have a new sound when you refresh? That's just actually kind of a jarring sound. I don't know if it makes sense with being a bird app. Now, if they had a playful sound to them, sort of like, uh, sort of like Nintendo does with their friends list and such. That'd be different. I think people would appreciate the playfulness more. Well, what if you all dug up this little section. And also dig this out, please. I know, giving you a big m digging assignment. And Melly's up to the task. Look how fast she digs through this. You know what I want to play, Fimsy? I want to play more Rise. How's that sound? Rise? Where are we? Are we high rank 7? Ooh, Rise would be fun. It would be fun. I would love to play some Rise with you and uh, Black. I miss it already. So the thinking is, if I dig down here, then this can be a pool for carbon dioxide and it can, we can start getting, uh, our breathability up by increasing the amount of places people can get air. Of course, these things, they function, but how much, really? Not that much. We may need a little bit of machinery with it. Such as an oxygen diffuser. But for now, until I can get a uh, carbon filtering, I'm using these to somewhat remove carbon dioxide. Even if it takes three seconds to remove one gram. It's a tiny amount, I know. There's a way to turn slime into algae as well. Where is that? Is that refinery? A uh, refinement? There's a crafting station. Water cooler. Mess table. There we go. Something like this to start a mess hall. That'll get their morale up a little. Which gives us more room for an upgrade. Now, because I'm dealing with... Carbon. I want this pocket larger for now. Also, can someone get this liquid spill? Thank you. That 
That is a lot of carbon. You know what? More terrarium. Oh, you finished it. Advanced research is available. Well... Pressure management. That's what I want. So that carbon can more easily flow down onto the terrarium. How's breathability? It's greatly improved. Even though it says it's down to 13%. Ten percent breathability. Oxygen is becoming scarce or low pressure. Working on it. We have skills. Who has skills? Marigold? You have an upgrade. I'm gonna give you improved carrying. So we can work towards exosuit training. A blueprint, you say? Well, we could get another farmer. Quinn. You're new. They did add new duplicates recently. You're a new one. I'm back. Welcome back, DJ. How are you doing, huh? Ba, 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 ba. Sorry about that. I'm just uh, checking my messages. Because I'm wondering where the, uh, where the, blah, 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 blah. Windy smoothie is. Not smoothie, frosty. 40.exe is restarting. I am restarting. My gosh. It also probably doesn't help that before this... Okay. Sinuses. Okay, pollen. Uh, tired. Sleeping on the job. <laughs> tired. And then I had a big butter burger, okay? Cooked the burger in butter. And then poured the butter on the burger. And I'm getting the itis on top of everything. What what mean? I have a question. What's the mean of pa 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 pa? It just means I'm thinking probably. I don't know. I don't really think about it. So you have hard digging and you're a farmer. I'm tempted to take you and start a big farm for us. Creativity and machinery, though. Okay, you know what? Bungle cap. Bungle spore, so that we can start slightly more advanced farming. Rather than having three farmers for basic farms, let's have this, so we can maybe start up something more advanced. Right? It grows in the dark. So it would have to be away from the shine bug. Where are the shine bugs? Oh, they went to the other side of the map. Except for the baby that shine nymph uh, actually hatched. Oh, wonderful. You're working. What is that looking like? Oh, you can actually see its effects.
I actually really like that we have hatches here. Over time, they'll convert a lot of the stone and other common things into coal. We will need coal eventually. Lots of it. Insufficient resources, water. They're effective. They're starting a oxygen, a pocket of oxygen in this carbon dioxide already. Oh yes, and for stations, a uh, supercomputer for advanced research. You see. Boop. I'm keeping the power on the surface right now because later on we will have bigger wires that may not even be able to pass into the walls so i want things built <sighs> as if i don't need to uh put them into the floor or walls yet well at all just so that replacing them later may be a little simpler Look at that. Look at the pocket of oxygen it's already they've already created. And they've probably soaked up a lot of carbon. There you go. Breathability's coming back. It's up to 26%. 25, 26, 24, okay. 27. Anyway, it was 10%. We're improving. Alright, you. How about... Decontamination, there it is, with the carbon skimmer that uses water to uh, filter carbon dioxide from the air. No research is assigned. Missing research station. Don't worry, we're getting it. That builds up so fast. Okay. Where is it? Airflow tile. Get three of those. That one's useless. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Uh, cancel that. And get an airflow tile. Yes! Something like that will work just fine. Okay, they're making a lot of oxygen really fast. Did I overdo it? I don't know if I overdid it, but uh... I've certainly brought breathability back. Let's get this priority 8. I want the oxygen to actually reach us and not just become a high pressure bubble down here. Portal! What's this out? What is this outpost? This outpost is called Melly's Penal Colony. All these people are presum were presumably arrested and sent here to serve as duplicates, clones, presumably. And that's why Melly has the name that she does. Where are you? Katie's unclogging the toilet. There's Melly. Melly number eight hundred ninety-seven. This is clone number 897 of Melly. Can you believe it? She got uh, she got here in her own penal colony because she punched a MILF who was trying to take the last G fuel at the store. Can you believe it? The things Melly would stoop down to. Hey, I'm there too? Yep, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> you're in the penal colony. Is that why the air seems darker than the smog in Detroit? Yes. Yes, that's why the air is dark. Although it's brightening up. You can see we're creating a big pocket of oxygen that we're just waiting to release. 
by making an airflow tile here where the gases can pass through. Heck yeah. I feel like the story keeps changing. What do you mean? What do you mean the story keeps changing? How many times have I told it? Has it how much has it changed? I don't know. No researcher assigned while someone is actively researching. What do you mean? Yawn. It's a sleepy day. Wait a second, could I get another bristleberry? Mm, I don't know if I want to do that yet. And just why did you make a mess on the floor here when there's a perfectly functional outhouse? Hmm? Melly, did you punch that small child for the last pouch of gamer subs? <laughs> I'd do anything for MILF G Fuel. Oh, right. You it, you weren't fighting a MILF. Right. You were punching someone who got in the way of the last uh, Lady Dimitrescu flavor of G Fuel. So you want the MILF G Fuel. Did you punch that small child? I'd do anything for MILF G Fuel, including punching a small child. That's why I always install the uh, Hurt Children mods in Skyrim. What does that say about me? I don't know. Come to this cloud district often? What am I kidding? Of course you don't. Boost? <laughs> Roda! That guy's the first to die every time. I, w I bet there's a mod to just remove him. Don't have to install any mods if you go all the way t back to Fallout 1 and 2. G Fuel is now on my sh- Heck. The people were let go in less than 24 hours without notice. I still remember the stray sniper bullet that meloned a poor family's son. It was by pure accident. Oh, I'm sure it was by total accident. Where did my oxygen go? It was here. Where's my oxygen, Summer? Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's true, Melly. Uh, the gamer fuel company said some gamer words. In, like, a meeting call. It was... Back then, a missed shot kept on going, like XCOM. It missed... It missed the bandits and hit the family running away. Awesome. I appreciate that. That's awesome. I want stray... Hmm. If I... Wait. If I made a run that focuses on minimum luck or accuracy, could I do accidental rampages constantly? Like, always miss my target and hit someone behind them. An accident with a sniper rifle is called negligence. Oh, it was a game. Yes, Melly. I'm sorry. Yes, Fimzy. It's a game. We're talking about Fallout 1 and 2. Back in my day, our games didn't care who got turned into Gib. Jibs. Gibs? Jibs? Wait. Is it Gif or Jif? Is it Gibs or Jibs? Wait a second. I... My brain... I... <laughs> Hard G. Okay, wait a second. Wait, what is that? 
I don't know what button I'm pressing, but oh well. So, I'll be back. I will pop, I will, uh, save this. And be back. I think my smooth, I think my frosty arrived, I was talking about. BRB. Or actually, you know what? This, mmm. No, I'll, yeah, I'll be here. Gold probably means y'all are typing a lot. Like, really fast. You know? <laughs> anyway. But. I'm here. I'm trying out the new, uh. Wendy's Strawberry Frost for the first time. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my god. It's like... It tastes like froth strawberry whole milk. Have you ever had that? Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Live mukbang review? Heck yeah. I would become Nakato Avocado for this Frosty, okay? The nearest Wendy's is in one hour away by car. Heck. My nearest Wendy's is about 10 minutes away, thankfully. I want... Well, you know what I want? I want to not spill this, apparently. I don't want- I don't want strawberry frosty on my yoga pants! Ah! Ah! What? Okay. I want- Heck yeah. This is a lot better than I thought it would be. Ah! But of course it is, like, half melted because of the- the, uh, part, I'm sure. So it's a little runny, and that's why it's getting up. <laughs> okay, I have a new favorite Wendy's flavor. Because, again, as I told Melly, um, I do hold the Frosty kind of close to me. Sort of like Sprite as a comfort treat. Because, uh, my grandma would regularly, like, when I would take, when I was taking swimming lessons and stuff, she would always take me for a breakfast biscuit and a frosty. You love the vanilla frosty? Yes, this is the new strawberry frosty. I haven't tried it yet, so this is my first time. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. It sounds like bliss. It is. It's a really creamy uh, strawberry. Ha <laughs> ha I killed it. I killed the fruit fly. The frosty lured the fruit fly. I killed it. Take that. Stop landing on my- near my, like, fucking eyes. I hate that fruit- I wouldn't mind fruit flies so much if they didn't go for the eyes. Every time you almost forget about them. 
I need to go. I would go on the keto diet now. When they come out with something like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I murdered live on stream. I heard about it, but can't have it. Ooh, salt water? Wait a second. Uh, construction, machinery, athletics, excavation, construction, strength, agriculture. I don't want any of you, so I'm gonna take the salt water. It'll be good to have later. I haven't... I heard about it, but I can't have it. I have an electrified racket for bugs like that. I do too, but it also scares me because half the time I end up shocking myself. And, uh... I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that because if I end up shocking myself, my rods can eat up. Portal, no! <laughs> yeah. I'll end up like actually going into my shoulder or something. And it'll go, and I'm like, ah! Ooh, everyone has an upgrade. Uh, improved carrying, yes. Crop tending and super hard digging. Thank you. Are you mi can be you? Are you work mistreating your workforce again? I knew I felt a disturbance in the balance. Hello, can be you? Yes, I am mistreating my employees here in the penal colony of Melly. Just look how clean the air is. I know it's mostly carbon. Isn't that great? Carbon's pretty sterile. I'm sorry, I totally, um, I, I totally zoned out for Strawberry Frosty. Okay, forward. What do we need next? I don't blame you. <laughs> mm, we need metal, okay. I mean, it's not that hard, it's right here. Boop. Dig it. Dig all of that. And to help dig it, you might want some ladders. There you go. There's carbon and sugar, so it's basically candy air. Heck yeah. Why isn't there a machine in uh, oxygen not included that turns... The carbon in the air, the carbon dioxide, and the sugar, huh? Mm -hmm. Cause then everyone has cotton candy and doesn't have to worry about the greenhouse gas warming up their colony. Hey. Wow, y'all cleaned that out fast. Uh, what was I looking for? Right, plumbing. A uh, liquid pump, if you please. Boop. And get our first pipe out of it. Okay. 
We don't have any application for it yet. Eventually we will. Uh, plumbing liquid vent. There we go. So eventually we're going to have fresh water pumped into a lavatory and then the output comes over here. I want to breathe cotton candy. Have you smelled cotton candy? It's so sweet. Ah, more frosty. I'm also just sort of brushing it because it's at that critical melting point. You know, sort of like how you have to rush pancakes before it reaches that critical point where it's soggy. Which isn't terrible, but to each their own. Sort of like how some people prefer their cereal soggy. I actually do like some cereals soggy. Like, I don't mind... I hate soggy Frosted Flakes, but I don't mind soggy Cheerios. Because if the Cheerios are soggy, that means a lot of the honey in them has soaked into the milk as well. And so then you have really sweet honey milk. And also nuclear reactors. I want to eat a nuclear reactor. Can I eat plutonium? Where's the, where's the cotton plutonium candy? I want it. Melly, buy me plutonium. Now. Eat the demon core. Oh my gosh, can I turn it into a, isn't that like an eggy? Wait, is the demon core like an eggy? Can I eat it? Can I lay it? Can I lay a demon core? What the fuck, Portal? <laughs> it's so blue and appetizing. I know, right? Porty. Forbidden Eggy? Well, you know what? You know what else is forbidden? Uh, the Forbidden Frosty. The elephant's foot. Could you imagine? What would it be like? What would radioactive candy be like? Would it be like pop rocks on your in your mouth? Wordsy, yes. <laughs> I want the pop rocks flavored elephant foot frosty. You know, it would really crackle in your mouth. Interesting stuff. And I put the Rice Krispies in my mouth and I heard snap, crackle, pop. And then I had to stop and throw away the bowl because I realized I became a serial killer. Quirty is like me, deep down wanting to try a Nuka Cola. Yes! This is how you end up dead. A forbidden thing. It does look strangely delicious. It does. The Demon Core does too. You start my coughing fit again, OMG. I'm sorry. Is this radioactive? Huh? Do you think? How much would you bet that this is radioactive? I can hear the Geiger counter now. Okay, unpause. I've talked about deadly candy long enough. It's like a jawbreaker or gumball. I bet it melts in your mouth though. Hmm. I think the elephant foot would melt in your mouth too. Ah, 
strawberry. Ah, frosty. Ah, strawberry frosty. Down. Interact with people. Be social. Things. Okay. Be social. Don't just like... Don't just like mindlessly move the spoon up and down from the cup. Staring at chat. Stop that. Stop that poor... <laughs> Heck you. All right, I think we go higher. I think dig dug higher. That's how it goes, right? Dig dug higher? Don't worry about the technicalities and the details. Has the sugar already claimed you? How so? No. <laughs> no. No. Is it possible to dig all the way up to open space? It is. Actually, space is a biome. Quote unquote biome. You can't actually get to the surface of the asteroid we're in. That's just a late game thing. And we're very, very early game. Like, a full run, not a full run, but a decent run of oxygen not included, honestly, it can run you a, up to a couple hundred hours. If you're going for mastery of the elements on the map. Ah. Now you sound like the Teletubby lady. <laughs> I hope I don't sound like the baby son. small biscuit. I know, that's a lot of hours, right? I'm not doing that, okay? I wanted to try a new a new planet, because there are different planet starts you can have with uh, unique compositions to them. And they that can influence gameplay by a lot. Ooh, what are you? And here, let me, let me actually show you a trick. So we see... A priority here and you see this thing this element this resource called neutronium so what so we know that there's either a geyser or a vent here or even a volcano what we can do to find out which it is is click top priority open up a yellow alert look at the yellow alert and we can see it's a gold volcano dug uh, buried in here neat little trick and then to show yourself later that you marked this and explored it. You can uh, mark it with like one priority. Now you know. Portsy sun. Wait. Por little, little sun. Oh yeah, little sun. That's their name. Portsy sun. Won't you come wash away the rain? Oh, wow. Heck yeah. So anyway, now we know there's a gold volcano. I don't actually know how to use gold in this game right now. What if I want to mark it priority? Well, you can do that when you, when you actually, like, surround it with, like, heat insulation so it doesn't heat up your base or anything. And when you're ready to send a scientist in to study it. That's a lot of coal. That is a lot of coal. What other regions are there? There's a swamp. Apparently this planet is supposed to be slightly glacial, but we haven't seen the ice biomes yet.
Um. Ah. Uh. Priority Omogus? Okay. First of all, why is there a little Omogus in the chat? How do you do that? Wait a sec. I can be an Amogus too. Oh, that's so cool! I'm a little Amogus! Heck yeah, we're all Amoguses. Oh, oh, Omogai? Amogai. Amo- we're- we're not Amoguses, we're Amogai! Sus? <laughs> oh my god, Melly said sus. Everyone, Melly vented. I'm coming to warn you now. If I die, it was Melly. She vented. I saw it. The three Amogai. Amogus. Amogos. Amo. Oh, oh. Ah. Mogos. Yes. We have higher breathability again. Okay. What's next? Egg cracker. We could have a, a grill. We don't have room for it on this floor. Right now. I mean, we could continue this floor. Here. You can use ladders as a bit of a platform if you want. Uh, cancel. Yes. There we go. Um, I'm doing it again. I'm just like moving the stop it. I can make tofu? A bland curd made of nosh beans. Now you know. Did you know that your tofu comes from slave labor in a penal colony? Off in space? I bet you didn't, but now you know. What are you gonna do with that info, huh? It'd be cool if there was like a whip button that I could click and hear... You know, like a little mod that puts a whip here, button here, that I could, like, psh, move it, slave. Y'all are working for zero an hour. Your hourly wage is survival. Hehehe, <laughs> penal. <laughs> Good job, kid. God, don't do that to me. God. I guess I'm just gonna finish this frosty and judge you. Um. Fucking hell, Portsy. That got you snorting? I guess so. Live at 10, Portsy snorts at penal while laborers die from CO2. <laughs>
God damn it. Aha! Oxalite. Wait, you're starved of oxygen? Why don't you just eat? I can just drink this at the bottom here. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> don't mind me breaking space time to drink that. You don't see anything, okay? Ah, okay. Okay, Frosty done. Now y'all can continue, uh... Suffocating or whatever you were doing. Actually, it's pretty breathable. 100% breathability. Hey now, I brought it back from 10% breathability to 100% breathability. All praise me. <clears throat> praise your president, a. AKA the one with the whip in this colony. Who's making a mess? Who keeps peeing? Why are you peeing? Why are you peeing? Ah! Why are you all peeing with a functional toilet? Oh, it's not functional right now. Why is there... There you go. Okay. All right. Where's the lavatory? Plumbing? Nope. Medicine? No. Stations, food, base? Where is la- where are lavatory? Oh, I don't have a research. No one's even built that yet. Okay. You know what? Decontamination can wait. I want sanitation. While we're at it. Sorry about that. While we're at it. Ooh, bunch of farm tiles, please. Even though we're well positive on calories, because we have two skilled farmers. I want you to keep at it. By the way, did any of you notice that there's a lot of yellow gas in the colony? That's called polluted oxygen. That's when the pee evaporates. You see the pee here? It's when it evaporates into the air as polluted oxygen with a bunch of germs in it. Oh my god. Who peed on the bed? Who managed to pee on four beds, huh? Y'all are impossible. I swear. My knee popped just for existing. I didn't even move it. I can't believe this. Poxygen. <laughs> Poxygen. Ah, oh, yes, breathe the forbidden air. Poxygen. Oxy germs. Oh, she farts. Oh, God. Oxy germs. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Ah. Hecky. I 
want to open up this air of uh, this pocket of oxygen because then we get a bunch of oxalite for a little bit extra. We get some seeds here from a bristle blossom, a mealwood, or a bristle blossom. Can we just priority six this? Please. And thank you. Uh, Oxy Fern. Cute as hell. Not COVID. COVID is very not cute, the scientists say. Hydrate? Okay. Ah. Yes, did you know that a recent paper came in saying that scientists have found COVID very not cute? It is ugly, in fact. Have a have a drink, you cute little dude. <laughs> Thank you. I had a drink. We're at eighty percent brain power. Oh, that's stress. I forgot that that's stress. <laughs> I'm not at eighty percent brain power. I was about to say. Heck yeah, fill this with oxygen. There's so much algae in the world. We don't really have a shortage coming anytime soon. Okay, uh, filtration. If you please. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I don't have a scientist yet, so that's why this is sort of a dormant supercomputer. We might have a cook. I forget. Even if we don't have a cook, I think we can have someone who can use the grill. It needs copper. Oh! It needs copper. Where is that? Oh, uh, I don't have the refinery yet. We'll get it at some point. My gosh, two and almost two and a half hours of just being goobers, huh? I am about my at my they peed in the fresh water. They peed in the fresh water. They peed in the fresh water! Right next to the... Right... Right next to the, uh... The pump. It's lemonade now. It's not lemonade! It's not... I'm sorry to mellow your yellow. But that's not lemonade. Okay? Forbidden lemonade. It's not. Oh my god. Just add some carbon sugar to it. <laughs> Y'all are a mess. I can't believe you. <laughs> I can't believe you. Heck. I might have to end it here though. Because as I said early on in the stream. I do have a rough voice. Uh, the early, early beginnings of laryngitis if I don't slow down this week after a lot of talking. So, uh, that might be it. I might take a rest. And, uh, not have some food. I just had a frost. But yes, I definitely need to rest my voice. It's starting to... Like this, it's starting to become a little sore. All right, so yeah, take that, take a break. Okay, thank you, Melly. 
We're gonna go to the offline screen. This was fun. It was fun. Although at some point it devolved from actually focusing on a colony to being goobers with a colony in the background. Sort of like uh, uh, if you've ever had one of those ant terrariums where you just sort of watch them dig into the gel. That's what these colon poor colonists became and they rebelled against me and feed in the fresh water eventually. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. It was a lot of fun with you too. Gosh, you all made it so fun. Y'all made me snort. I can't believe you. You will all be punished for that. Nursed. Okay, so. I can't do much more talking. We're going to find someone to raid. Who's live? A leak is live, like League of Legends. What is this? A uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? You know what? Yeah, we could do that. Mythic. You've been playing that. What is Adora up to? Adora Bunch. Just chatting? Okay, we're gonna read Mythic. Mythic's a long time friend. We've known each other for probably, ooh, actually, eight years? Eight to nine. So heck yeah, show them some love. Uh, get introduced. I'm gonna send y'all over there and you can enjoy some chill vibes with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time after watching a bunch of uh, slave labor in a the center of an asteroid as a prison. You know, the normal. It's your normal uh, docket. Wait, that's not... Wait, that's not how that works. Am I still alive? I'm still alive. Okay. I'm gonna raid the channel instead. Alright, and I'm going to wrap myself in a blanket, uh, have some honey tea, you know, and try to calm down my throat. And I hope you have a wonderful night, all of you. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye. <laughs>